Sherlock in time. So this, this is such a weird theming for a game because this is Sherlock going through time. I guess maybe this is part of a series or something, but also it's Sherlock in Japan. And Sherlock's not even in the game. I think you're Sherlock. It's just a weird, it's basically just a way to have a deduction game set in Spain, I suppose. Here's how it plays. In this game, each player is gonna be given several of these clue cards. Each clue card is gonna show you one different type of area. So here we have the cherry blossom trees and the bridge shown there. There's three different areas. It shows a suspect. There's five different suspects. And then it shows something, you know, an item. So there's three items, although you can play with four items and you just add the cards with that symbol to the game. So everyone's gonna draw a certain number of these cards, but one of the cards when you draw it, you have facing everybody else. Everyone else can see it and you can't. This is your solution card. And what you're gonna do on your turn is you're gonna pick another one of your cards from your hand, show it to everybody else. They're gonna compare it to your solution card and see how many matches there are. In this case, there's zero, so they'll put it here. And then maybe later on, you'll play another card. You play, I don't know why you'd play that one. But let's say you did play this one and they said one. Well, then you know, since this is zero, that this is on your card. At the end of your turn, you can guess if you want to your exact card. If you're wrong, you're eliminated. If you're right, then you get points equal to every, basically the number of your solution and also how many players played that round. And you keep track of points here. You can also take a dishonorable shortcut where you can use this card once per game to say, do I have the Jade Dragon? And people will say yes or no. But if you do flip your card, you'll lose ties at the end of the game. You'll do this for three rounds. You'll get a new card each round, play through, and whoever has the most points at the end of the game is the winner. Yeah, that's it, basically. Very, very simple deduction game. I like it. It's an interesting game because there's only one combination of each of the different, of the items that are out there. And so if someone plays a card as a clue, or you see a card in their hand, you have more information. Going first is not really an advantage because as more and more cards get laid out, I can narrow it down to two cards and go, well, there's one of the two cards on the table that I narrowed it down to, so therefore it is this one. It's fine, it's simple. The expansion makes it a little bit more meaty, and then there's a really weird little Watson in Time expansion that came in this that has player powers that have take that. It's nonsensical. I don't get it at all. If you wanna play a light, really light deduction game, I found this one amusing for a time or two, but I wouldn't buy it because I, don't th I think it's gonna be the same thing over and over again. So it's fine. I'd give this one a six out of 10. Sherlock in time. Weird theme.